Taylor Bellinger, a psychologist and assistant professor at the Center for Child Health and Development at the University of Kansas Medical Center. I specialize in autism and other developmental disabilities, and I do a lot of behavior therapy via telemedicine. Here are five tips I've learned over the years that help make behavior therapy successful, and it begins with a safe, child-friendly environment. Tip one, know your room. You want a space that is child-friendly, but without too many distractions. For example, rolling conference chairs can be dangerous as well as a distraction, especially for little ones with behavior challenges. Tip two, doors and cords can be a danger. Make note of where and how the doors open to keep kiddos safe, especially the busy ones that like to run and explore. Make sure all plugs, cords, and computer screens are safely out of reach. Tip three, toys. Ask the remote site if they can provide toys and crowns. For parent-child interaction therapy and most coaching therapies, you will need interactive, constructive, and creative play materials, such as building blocks, magnet tiles, cars, toy animals, and Mr. Potato Heads. If the remote site cannot provide the toys, kids love bringing their favorite toys from home. These toys can be used for active parent training or to entertain the child while you are talking with the adult. Tip four, purchase a Bluetooth headset for the remote site that can be used to coach in a more natural way without distracting the child. By turning off your camera and talking to parents through Bluetooth, kids will be less anxious and more comfortable playing and practicing skills. Tip five, team building. It is critical to create a strong support team. Teams include the child, family, extended family who participate in care, and can often include teachers, school psychologists, principals, local mental health care providers, site coordinators, and school nurses. As you create your team, determine who can participate and make sure that the child and family are comfortable with everyone in the room. Having this team work together in therapy sessions can be very helpful to improve behavior at home and school. Team members should be trained to also act as your eyes ears, feet, and hands on the ground. Like you, they will learn positive play skills, when to ignore behavior, common safety measures, and other skills to enhance the impact of therapy. When everyone on the team learns to speak concisely, catch kids being good, promote positive interactions, and keep kids safe, you will be set up for success. And when you're set up for success, telehealth rocks. <laughs>